Hi, today I want to talk about color profiles. What are color profiles? Which one is the best for you? And some tips I have been learning in the past years. So, before working in Procreate, I used to work with my Wacom and with Photoshop and Illustrator for printing and for digital work. So, um, if you're going to work either in your computer or with Procreate, you need to know what color profiles are, especially if you have clients that work in different industries, it is very important to understand this. So, if you use Procreate or Photoshop, you will see these color profiles, at least in Procreate, you will see them here and in Photoshop or Illustrator, when you create the, a new canvas, it will show you the option of choosing your color profile. So you can use CMJK or RGB. And besides that, there is also what type of profiles, because there are many types of profiles in those categories. So let's break this into two. In general speaking, RGB, you use it for digital and CMJK, you use it for printing. If you have a printer at home, you will notice that you have four types or four colors, four types of ink. You have cyan, magenta, yellow and ink. That's the K is for ink, that means the black ink. And if you have a whatever printer you have at home, you can also check which which profile your printer uses. It will depend of where that printer got made. So the RGB, as I said, is for digital and also has some profiles, but way less than printing. That's for sure. Um, right now, uh, this. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, I just noticed today that this profile it says on name and before it was called something like profile for and it is an RGB profile that is only for Procreate. I noticed at the beginning it was the default, so I noticed that some of my drawings were getting a bit um, darker and like with less saturation than, than if, it, if I use any of these other profiles. So far, I have been working with these two RGB profiles for digital and for printing. That is one of the reasons I, I am making this video is because I am in two Facebook groups that are for illustrators and also authors of children's books. And there's always these questions about color profiles and I understand that it, it may not be easy to understand why if in your screen it looks amazing, why the printing is so bad. Rec and recently, one of the posts from, from someone, from some author, was complaining of the printing quality of the KDP uh, if you don't know, KDP is uh, Kindle Publishing from Amazon. And the, um, the author was complaining that some copies were a bit dim, some copies were fine. And then she checked with the Illustrator. The Illustrator profile was RGB, which is actually not good from the Illustrator. It should have been from the beginning at CMJK. Though some people do draw on RGB and convert it with Photoshop to CMJK. You can do that, yes. The quality will be the best, maybe not as good as if you work before, from the beginning, with CMJK. It's true, RGB offers um, more colors, more shades of colors. So, especially yellows and greens will change more or you will see more the difference 
when you change that RGB profile to CMTK. And right now, as you see, um, Photoshop, sorry, now as you see, Procreate has six RGB profiles and 11 CMDK profiles. So which one should you should use if you're painting? Well, kind of like a rule of thumb is that the swap profiles are used mostly in the United States and Canada, mostly. And the coated fora is used, and also uncoated fora are used mostly in Europe. Though, if a certain printing company decided to buy machinery from the United States, even though they are in Europe, their profile will be most probably swap. That is why this person that was talking in the group about some copies being dim or not are related to where that those books were printed. So one country, well, some books were printed in one country and they were using, I don't know which one exactly, I cannot tell you that for sure, of course, but they were using most probably one and the other, the other country printing was using the other one. So, also, Japan uses another one that is not in here, that is a Japanese profile. And you, of course, can change these CMJK profiles to another CMJK profile in Photoshop, which gives you a little bit more of um, certainty that they will look like that. And computers are really good to translate translating that CMJK to your screen and you will see it in what is more or less RGB. So that's to, to keep some something in mind. If you create something really bright in RGB, you may not see it as bright in CMJK. And as I told you, the, the, the yellows are one of the most difficult ones to interpret. So I draw a very simple, I hope you understand, very simple hand drawing, not fancy at all, of what happens uh, with these profiles. So an illustrator creates something in CMJK, great, save it to PDF, show it to the client. Hopefully the client will not change the file and the file will remain unchanged to send it to the KDP publishing platform. Then that file gets sent to different printers and different printers means each printer will have a different color profile. So it is the same, we don't know. So the program that you use to create illustration will write in a code and we'll try to transform what you, what you make in some coding, and that has to be read by these printers. It is the same code, it will not maybe interpret it by them. It's like if you are speaking, in, we're speaking here in English, and then I start speaking in Japanese, and now you will not understand me, kind of thing. So, that's one thing, and I hope you understand. And another thing is, if you do it in RGB and you start sending the file across platforms or across computers, that RGB code can actually change across this process. That doesn't happen with CMJK. So to print them, CMJK. There are new technologies being developed, so we create things in RGB directly and they are printed in RGB directly, which is fine. You can actually pre prepare the file in RGB and then magically the printer will try to interpret it, but it will not be the best. So if you're an illustrator and you're going to work with some client, 
that is gonna print the material produce CMDK directly. If that client is planning to have some advertisement uh, online or some, some material online, you can work in RGB in the br brightest possible, depending on what you're creating, of course, and deliver both the RGB and then use Photoshop or WIMP to create the CMJK and try to adjust that profile to the country of your client, at least uh, generally speaking, okay? US, United States and Europe, and then other countries outside Europe or the rest, uh, the rest of this Latin America, they mostly import from uh, North America, mostly. And well, you have a rule of thumb. If you are directly in charge or directly in contact with someone with the publishing and printing and production of the book, then ask directly what profile that printer has. Okay? So that's my take for today about what is CNJ, K, and RGB. I actually created two simple drawings with simple colors in those profiles. Actually, you can check here, canvas, canvas information, color profile. Here is using the code of Fogra 300. I wrote it down. This is a really, sorry, very simple drawing, nothing fancy. Same here, just something really fast because I wanted to check, as I told you, like blues, yellows, greens, whatever. You can do it also at home if you want. And this one is a swap. We can check it here. Canvas information, color profile here. Swap version two. So you export it like this. Select these two. I'm sorry, these two. Share and you export it as a PDF. Best quality, of course. You may notice, as I told you, the yellows. The yellow will be darker in your computer, okay? But don't panic, print it. Check your printer if you have one at home, check the profile of that printer, and make different drawings, really easy drawings. This is only for checking the colors. Um, if you want to do like this, or spots like here, check different colors, if you, for example, create stickers and sell stickers from your home, do this. You have to do this, okay? To get the best quality of those stickers. Check that. So this is for today. I hope you like my explanation. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Bye.